tested, tried and tested on Windows, Linux, and as well as on the cloud. Right? So let's see what people are doing with Node.js around the globe. Right? So LinkedIn has the entire server side for the mobile software stack built out of Node.js. Yahoo is using this to build a platform alongside YUI for publishers. Mozilla is working off a browser ID concept where you just log in once and you don't have to log into multiple other devices and sites. So there are load testing tools which will uh, which are built by Mozilla to simulate users. ITV guide apps built as service using Node.js for AOL, TV and so on. The Storyfy mobile app is something pretty cool. You can actually look at the social networking and create your story and you know publish it. It's targeted at journalists. The Shopaboo app is again something that's uh, you know pretty inspiring. So for those of you from the e-commerce world, right? So this is a real life scenario put to use. So let's say you're going for shopping a watch with your friend, right? So you would you know the minute you walk into the showroom, you look at the watches, you would consult your friend. You know, does this look good or, you know, do you want to uh, look at another one? So the exact same, uh, you know, feel is provided on the site where you have your uh, online friends available just like in Facebook on the bottom right hand side. And you can drag and drop the product of your interest, take a feedback and, you know, then decide you want to buy this or not. A very simple concept for generating a lot of money for some people. Right? So. These are some of the examples. So Hummingbird is a pretty, uh, you know, interesting uh, uh, product too. So it's it's for real-time web analytics. So folks from system operations would be really interested to look at this real-time web analytics using Node.js and uh, built out of web sockets. Right. So we also have CMS being built from uh, Node.js. We have crawlers being built. So the, the observer product built uh, on Node.js is also pretty awesome, right? So folks from the support uh, teams, right? So most of the times you run into a situation where users would, uh, uh, you know, probably run into a problem on your site and they report it and you would have to try and replicate your steps and, you know, try to uh, fix that. What the Observer product does is it's, prim it's primarily built out of Phantom JS, right? So you have a mirror image of what the user is seeing at any given point of time, right? So you can go back in time, look at what the user was seeing, replicate the steps, and you know, uh, get the. I mean, you can find a solution for the problem that happened. So that is something interesting as well. The golf. So we have apps built for uh, golf uh, as well, which gives you a bird's eye view for golfers to understand, you know, where they are relative to the destination and bunkers and stuff like that. Big data and no chase is also set to take off to a great start uh, sometime uh, later this year. You will see a lot more use cases being implemented of this. So you do have essentially map reduce programs built off uh, no chase. You can, uh, like, like you saw, you, you have the capability to connect off multiple databases. You can write extractors. Uh, you can uh, pull data to HDFS and query off HBase. So you, you're going to see a lot of use cases come up uh, later this year around this as well. Right. So, so what's in it for each one of us, right? So we have a whole bunch of uh, you know freshers and student community as well joining us today. So the trends should inspire you to learn the technology. As developers, we have a whole lot of things to take away from Node.js, right? Of course, understanding the pitfalls. So you, you, what you're essentially seeing is JavaScript taking on the server side, the client, and as well as over the network in the form of JSON. We have a whole bunch of modules. We saw some of the most uh, prominent modules uh, that's being leveraged. The continuous integration, continuous deployment support. 
From solutioning perspective, we have the capability to support real-time applications such as uh, stock, trending applications, real-time web analytics, uh, real-time dashboards, you know, which, is, which has become a requirement on any enterprise architect architecture you know, as a part of the uh, governance model. So the, the non-blocking operations, you know, so if you have anything to do with file I.O. or uh, let's say database, so Node.js is a good option. Excellent handling queued inputs, right, from queues such as RabbitMQ or ZeroMQ. Node is also very good at heavy duty data streaming, right, so you can process files while they are streaming. So there is also an increased solutions around Node as proxy servers, which is again a very good space to explore. And like I said, with the big data solutions are on the rise. And system operations team as well have a whole lot of things to look forward to, like the observer product and the hummingbird uh, product. So from the manager's point of view, right, so Node.js would give you an approach to cumulative model of development, right? So you're dealing with a whole bunch of mashups. So you got to target, like I said, the cog. And, you know, deciding between a strategic versus tactical solutions. Where I gave the example of using HJS, than building the whole, uh, uh, you know, the services using Node. As sales, as sales champions, yes, the time to market is pretty quick. Architecture is slick, lean, and mean, and it's definitely an attraction to the customers. And there are a whole bunch of, you know, success stories, right? So, I mean, right from mobile apps to website for e-commerce or solutions for business intelligence. So, I encourage each one of you to take a look at nojs.org, uh, you know, slash industry. So, there's a whole bunch of success stories. And the Node ecosystem is growing at an insane pace. And, uh, you know, I welcome each one of you to contribute and share to this new space, right? So, we have the questions pool actually increasing, so I guess I'll give more time to the 